Hi folks, HR Funk here. I'm back out on the range today again with my Marlin Model 1894 CP carbine chambered for the 357 Magnum cartridge. Now if you've been a viewer of mine for a while, you may recall a couple of years ago I did a review on this little carbine and during that review I mentioned that I think even today this 125 year old design could still provide service to a peace officer in the performance of his or her duties. Today I thought I would put that statement to the test and what I'm going to be doing is shooting the 1894 across a course of fire that's intended for modern day tactical carbines, specifically AR-15 or M forgery type carbines. And I'm going to see if this design or if this rifle that was designed all those years ago is still capable of passing or at least allowing a police officer to qualify with it during this course of fire. Now I did the same thing with my M1 Garand a few months ago if you saw that video and I'm going to try it today with the 1894. Now obviously the difference between the Garand and the 1894 is with this carbine I'm going to have to physically cycle every round whereas the M1 was semi-automatic. That's going to make getting the time limits or getting in under the time limits with this course kind of challenging. But I want to see if I can do it. Now just so you realize this course of fire requires an 80% aggregate score for passing. What that means is it's a 20 round course of fire and at the end I have to have 16 out of my 20 shots inside the preferred area of the target. If I accomplish that with a tactical carbine then I am deemed to be qualified in the state of Ohio. Now I mentioned this in the last video with the M1. This is not my course of fire. I did not dream this up. This is a course of fire that was implemented by the Ohio Peace Officer Training Commission and it is the standard for law enforcement officers in the state of Ohio who need to qualify or wish to qualify with a patrol rifle while in the performance of their duties. I don't know of anyone these days that carries a lever action and I don't know for sure if it's even possible to qualify with it on this course of fire, but I want to find out. I'm going to give it a good run and see if I can do it with the 1894. So if you're interested in seeing if the Marlin Model 1894, the 125 year old lever action design, can pass a qualification course that's intended for 21st century tactical carbines, sit back, relax, and we'll see if it does. Alright folks, I'm about to get started here, and what I'm going to do is explain each stage of fire as I go, and then I'm going to perform it. This is going to be the first time I've ever tried this. I haven't done any practicing to get ready for this video or anything else. I just want to see if I can come out take this rifle and actually qualify with it or shoot a qualifying score on this course of fire. After I explain the stage of fire, I'll then attempt to fire it. I'm also going to be using my shot timer to make sure I get in under the time limits. So here we go. Let's see how the 1894 does. Okay folks, I'm loaded up and ready to go. The first stage of fire takes place at 15 feet from the target. It starts in a low ready position and on the signal to fire the shooter has to come up and fire three shots into the body of the target in a time limit of four seconds. Let's see how this goes. So far so good. The second stage of the course takes place 20 feet from the target and this time I'm going to have five seconds to fire two shots to the body and one shot to the head. Here we go. Two up, two down. And just like that, we're up to the third stage in our tactical carbine qualification course. From here, I have six seconds to fire three headshots. Again, starts in a low ready position, on signal, comes up, and I fire out three shots from here. All three have to be headshots. Okay, on that one, I've got one of them where I pierced his ear. That's going to count as a zero in my score at the end. Again, as I said before, I have to have 16 out of the 20 shots all in the preferred area of the target. So there's one that I'm not going to have when I get to the end. So the best score I can now shoot with the 1894 is going to be a 19. And I've arrived back at 50 feet for the next stage in this course of fire. From here, I'm going to be doing something else that I have never done before with the lever action carbine. 
I have to fire two shots left-handed into the body of the target in a time limit of five seconds. Let's see how this goes. Got them off and they're both good. All right, folks, I'm now back at 25 yards from the target. From here, I actually fire two stages of this course of fire. The first starts in a low ready position, and on the signal of fire, I have one and a half seconds to come up and fire one shot into center mass on the target, or into the preferred area, rather. This is just simply a snapshot, getting people used to coming up, acquiring their sights quickly, and squeezing off a good, accurate shot. The second stage of fire that takes place from 25 yards is a reloading stage, and I'll explain that one when I get to it. Got it off right at the buzzer. Folks, as I said before, the next stage of fire also takes place from 25 yards, but this stage of fire requires a reload. The way it's fired is I have 12 seconds and I start standing with the rifle in a low ready position. When the signal to fire comes, I fire two shots. After the second shot, the rifle is empty because there's only two loaded in there to begin with. At that point, I have to drop to a kneeling position, reload the rifle, and fire out three more shots from a kneeling position. Now with a tactical carbine that has a detachable box magazine, this is a relatively easy stage of fire. With the 1894, since it has the tubular magazine, I've spent a good deal of time trying to figure out a way that I'm going to be able to actually pass this stage of fire, or at least get enough shots off in the time limit that it's not going to prevent me from passing the overall course. What I've come up with is this. I'm going to start out with three rounds of ammunition loaded or maybe loaded is not the right term, but held in my fingers just like this. I'm going to fire out those first two rounds, and then as I drop down to the kneeling position, I'm going to single load these three rounds that I have in my hand, and I'm gonna see how many of these I can get off in that 12 second time limit. This ought to be interesting. two of them off in the time limit. Actually, I got four of them off. Let's go see where they hit. All right, folks, all those shots stayed in the target. Even as fast as I was trying to single load these cartridges and get the rifle back up and shooting, all four of the shots that I fired in that reloading stage are on here. So again, since I did not get that last round off, that's gonna detract another point from my overall score. So I'm now down to a possible of 18 out of the original 20 in order to meet my 80% requirement for passing but now I'm going back to 50 yards to fire the final stage, which requires three shots in order to pass this course overall. Let's see how that goes. All right, folks, I'm now set up 50 yards from the target. From here, I shoot the final stage of fire in this tactical carbine qualification course. From here, I start out in a standing position, and on the signal to fire, I have 10 seconds to drop into a prone position and fire three shots into the preferred area of the target. Let's see how I do. it in the time limit. Let's go see where the shots hit. And here's the tail of the target, folks. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 shots in the preferred area of the target. Again, I had to get 16 out of the original 20 shots possible in order to pass this course. So this is a passing score. The one shot out here, as I said, counts as a zero. And the shot that I did not get off during the time limit in the reloading stage also counts as a zero, but this is still a passing score on this 21st century tactical carbine police officer qualification course with my Marlin Model 1894 carbine. And there you have it, folks. Not only is the 1894 carbine a really good general purpose all around outside firearm, but it could still serve a law enforcement officer in the performance of their duties or at very least, he or she could qualify with it. 
Now I'm not suggesting, by the way, in this video that everyone should go out and turn in their AR-15s or whatever they're using for a patrol rifle. All I'm saying is don't discount the lever action carbine as being so antiquated that it will not serve for defensive applications. Also, something I did not mention before, or I only mentioned in passing, was the chambering of this little carbine, that being the 357 Magnum cartridge. Now I was firing this entire course with full power 158 grain 357 Magnum ammunition, and out of this carbine length barrel, those bullets are traveling about 1600 feet per second. So not only is it capable of firing accurately over the course of a qualification course, but also it's capable of delivering quite a punch on the receiving end when you're firing that full power 357 Magnum ammunition. And even so, it was a very controllable firearm to shoot. I didn't have a lot of problems with recoil or trying to get back on target with follow-up shots or anything like that. Now this is the ported version of the 1894, as I mentioned during my original review, but I think if it were not the ported version, you still would not have a tremendous issue with recoil as you're firing this rifle in a self-defense type capacity. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those below. And as always, until next time, good shooting. Bye-bye.